So after this short introduction about my ideas for the club, <coughs> I would introduce the first speaker, Katya Kupailo. <laughs> See, it's rather symbolic that the first speaker is a specialist in tourism. So it is connected with surplus, definitely. And from another, and there is not a meaning of the word surfer, IT meaning. And Katya is a specialist in IT as well. So combination of surfers both on the water and in the virtual space. You're welcome. So your idea, the idea of the first project is to break ice between you and the order. And I would expect that you will speak about yourself, because it is the recommendation of the Toastmasters system. Speak about the item which you know the best. And the item which you know the best is yourself. I'm glad to be today with you. And um, would you like to know about me a bit more? Yeah. If yes, so I'll join you. Because frankly speaking, I cannot say today who I am, just can say where I am. And I feel that I'm in the ocean coast now, waiting for my way. I've always seen my life like a space of time in which all the things facing are not just separate education, but the chain of my unified thoughts and actions. And one day, I faced the speech of a person you all know, Steve Jobs and his three stories, the dots leading you through your life to show after all who you really are. And here are my main dots owing to which I stand today on this stage. After entering the University of Turin, uh, some years later, I met a lot of friends and got new knowledge, but I wasn't sure I was in the right way to my future profession. But in spite of that, I kept studying different cultures and making things about traveling. And let's say that inside this circle is what I learned. And some years later, I went to classes of Spanish. I liked it very much and was rather good at it. So this dot brought me to another one. And I'm in Spain, practicing this beautiful language and dealing with different people. And I spent two summer seasons there, working as a receptionist and animator in one hotel. And the experience I got there changed all my life. And since then, I cannot already imagine my life without traveling abroad and such kind of international projects. I learned there that you should never be afraid of nothing new, because even if it doesn't seem to be useful at all. So, uh, then, uh, as soon as I graduated from my university, I took part in two volunteer projects living in the mountains on 1,500 meters high, we worked hard with constructing some ancient buildings. And waking up every morning, oh, uh, firstly, we went to bed to extremely cold and went from the humidity to bed every time. And I thought, what am I doing here? But every morning waking up, this, uh, the bed was still wet and cold, but I saw the most beautiful sunrises of my life. And I realized that how important could be the ability of sacrificing the comfort to get something that definitely worth it. And to shut up your eyes to the difficulties. Because if you do something good, you will be always be rewarded. And when I went back to Moscow, I began to search a job here. But I didn't want to work in the tourism industry and had a lot of doubts if there was a company I would apply my skills in. And I should say that it's quite anxious to have no idea every time when an interview they ask you, what do you do yourself? Do you see yourself in? And in the eyes of many employers, I could see that my work experience seems not to be serious. And while I was telling uh, them how we were playing games with Spanish people or carrying baskets with the women till one in their camp, but the law of Connecting threads worked again when I was hired to a huge IT company. 
the things came together and now all my work is in English and Spanish. And thanks for my previous decision and the cross-cultural experience I got now, I know a bit more about myself and the world in general. And as you can see here, more you know, more you don't know. But you are the main reference point you have. And the one thing I'm sure about is that I am a true word surfer. And I think that I'm going to catch this wave. Thank you.